OK, so 14th of the 5th, cell 19, after lunch at 12.30, two officers were arguing with her. She was not violent. They restrained her. She was still not violent. The SO kicked her and the alarm was sounded. There were seven officers in the end, all male, all restraining her inside her cell. No officers put the body cams on, kicked her in the chest. Scarlett's diary of her four months inside a women's jail is a rare, shocking account of mostly male prison officers abusing their power over women. That extract was the alleged treatment of a youth offender in a next-door cell. So she repeatedly screamed for them to stop. They folded her in two, they bring, brought her arms up behind her back until she was screaming, she was in pain. And then the senior officer kicked her in her chest right before they closed the door and they didn't let her out for 48 hours. Scarlett was jailed here in HMP Eastwood Park in Gloucestershire last year for perverting the course of justice. She says male staff used disproportionate force and things like withdrawing meals as punishment. She said prisoner self-harm was rife and officers showed no compassion. There was one lady, she had self-harmed yeah. like, significantly. There was a lot of blood and they didn't dress the wound. They didn't cover it up. Um, she was bleeding and they, they, they gave her a bowl to bleed in overnight. They were like, there you go. A damning inspectorate report this year said Eastwood Park had extreme levels of self-harm and acute staff shortages. It stated the number of times force had been used against women had increased significantly and we were not confident it was always used as a last resort. The report said the cells were appalling, dilapidated, graffitied, one was blood splattered and providing photographs it said that some of them had extensive scratches on the walls which reflected the degree of trauma previous residents must have experienced. It adds no prisoner should be held in such conditions, let alone women who were acutely unwell and in great distress. The conditions are so inhumane. You are caged for 23 hours a day and you'll, it, that's it, if there's enough staff to even let you out for one hour. And in a space that you, I couldn't even open my arms like this. I mean, the bed was here and the wall was here. That's, you can't even open your arms and there's one other person in that space. That's gonna drive you to some quite crazy behaviors. A new government report has been published recognizing that women prisoners have unique needs and many are living with trauma and recommending they have better access to therapeutic services. But Scarlett says the service needs much greater reform. It's a cage. <laughs> it's, it's, it's being put in the, in the crumbling building. You're watching your life fall apart and you, there's nothing you can do. Commenting on this interview, a prison service spokesperson said, we are investing up to £14 million to improve the safety and rehabilitation of women so they can turn their backs on crime for good, including specialist self-harm training for staff, improved mental health services and help into work on release. But this former prisoner believes from her experience the whole system is not fit for purpose. Jason Farrell, Sky News.